Dave Stockton won two majors in the 1970s and was captain of the American Ryder Cup team that won in 1991. He was one of the most successful players on the Champions Tour in the 90s. Known as one of the best putters ever to have played the game, he currently coaches Phil Mickelson. And here he offers a tip that can help you lower your score. I've got some... Uh technical things that I use, three T's. Doesn't seem like much, but it's going to mean a lot to you. I want you to understand that when you get ready to put these in the ground, there's three things I want you to do. One, I want you to putt over a spot. Two, the second T is going to go in to show you where I expect this to go into the hole. And the third is that I'm going to put behind the hole that you're going to understand that my whole game of putting is to roll it over a spot, and then I don't ever want to leave it short. I want to be aggressive. But the last tee is going to go 16, 17 inches behind the hole, which is as far as I want you to roll it. Because I firmly believe it's much better to have the correct roll and distance than it is to have the correct line. I'll show you what I mean. First tee goes in the ground less than two inches in front of the ball. Second tee is going to set here on the exact spot that I think is the middle of the hole on this putt, which is going to break about four inches. And like I said, the last tee is probably 16 inches behind the hole. So what's going through my mind as I'm reading this putt is, and I don't notice this first tee yet. I'll explain to you when I do. I see the entire line. I see the ball falling in probably almost 3 o'clock because the ball is going to be turning to the left. And again, I want to have the right speed. So when I come into the ball, I'm looking the last oh, 10 inches set up to where I want the ball to go, come over it. Now I look at the hole one last time. When I come back, I do not come back to the ball. I'm coming right back to the spot, T that I've driven in the ground, and I'm going to roll the ball over it. By the time I look up, the ball is going to be in the hole. Hit with enough pace, or rolled with enough pace to get to the hole, not enough to put it, if I miss the putt, to go past that back T. You're not going to three putt as much because you, as you lined up in the previous tips we've given, you've actually learned how to read greens and stuff. Basically, what I want you to do is develop this touch. I want you to roll the ball in the hole, not hit it. I don't want you to try. I want you to think of the word feel. I want you to feel it and roll it. That's all there is to better putting.